Okay, so I've just arrived. I'm at the portage to Hambone Lake. So it's from Magnetowan to Hambone Lake. It's a short little portage. Not sure how many meters. I'm guessing it's like 200, 230, something like that. But that's it, that's the portage. So yeah, what can I say? First portage, better get to it. garbage. So I'm on the portage from Magnetowan Lake to Hambone Lake and what's that? 20 feet off the portage, pile of garbage people left. So I'm just approaching the second portage of the day, of the trip, and it's just between Hambone Lake to Hambone Lake. There's just a little peninsula. Now, I don't think I've ever actually hiked the portage. There's usually a water passage on the one side, but it can get shallow. So hopefully, we'll see in a moment, hopefully I can paddle through. So water level is a little bit low, um, rocks are a bit more rocky, I'll show you what I'm looking at. There's the portage. I want to see if I can get through on the water, so yeah, we'll see what we can do.
Okay, well, next portage. Hambone to Daisy Lake. And this one is 430 meters, so, you know, half a kilometer. It's a relatively uh, average portage, I guess. <laughs> you know, I've been lucky. The first one, just a hop over. The second one paddled through 430. I've always felt that anything over 500 meters is a challenge. Um, so 430, not a challenge at all. <laughs> Okay, the end of the portage is uh, just up ahead. Okay, so I'm down at the other end of the portage and I just want to make a quick correction because I was talking about that other little uh, lake section. I was calling it Hambone Lake. So I did paddle from Magnetowan into Hambone Lake. Then there was the little portage with a creek that went through it. I called the next section also Hambone Lake, but in fact, on this portage, it's listed as pond. So I'm at this side now, the Daisy Lake side, but the sign says Daisy Lake to Pond, 420 meters. So yeah, the other side, that body of water is Pond. All right, I gotta go get the canoe. So I'll be back.
Well, I'm now on Daisy Lake and I'm gonna find a campsite somewhere to sleep the night and get set up. I actually have one of my favorite sites on the park on Daisy. So I'm gonna check out to see if that's available first. Um, thing is, it's a nice, you know, semi-open type campsite and it's got the perfect uh, layout to get an awesome sunset if the sunset happens and looking at the sky I think that we could have a nice one tonight so yeah with any luck the site will be free and we'll take it from there okay so I'm out on Daisy Lake just arrived just found a campsite. It's actually my favorite campsite on Daisy Lake. Really happy it's available. Um, yeah, let me show you something. I just arrived. Someone was here and didn't put out their campfire. It's disappointing, isn't it? If you think this is stupid, if you think it's disappointing, leave a comment because I could go on for a long time about this. hammocks up. I'm going to go look for some firewood for the night and uh, it's late August so I think I'm going to have to really look for it. Park's been super busy so yeah most of the wood that would have been lying on the forest floor I'm sure has been picked up so 
I'm gonna follow a game trail here and uh, yeah we'll see hopefully it's not too difficult but I'll keep my eye out for some uh, standing deadwood as well if it's really been picked over there's another portage just around the bend I'll head over there portages are usually good spots for uh, finding some deadwood along them uh, again later in the season maybe not but it's a forest I'm sure there's wood I found a fair amount um, it's all like kindling and red pine so it's not hardwood it's not going to burn for very long but it'll be enough to get the fire going I'm gonna carry this back what I found and then I'll head back out and see if I can find some larger pieces maybe some hardwood So I'm just out here further back looking. You can see a tree down up there. So I gotta have a look. I think it's just like a spruce, which is another softwood, but it's a full tree. I should be able to cut the top off and bring it back and that'd be enough at least to, to have the campfire light around. Want a, some hardwood if I could find it for cooking on. Um, if I need to, a softwood would definitely do, but you get more smoke and just not high temperatures like you do with the the hardwood. So, anyhow. I think I'll cut a chunk of that tree off. that piece of uh, spruce there and looked up and it was uh, lying beside a silver birch with a couple widow makers above my head so just branches but anyway I'm able to pulling one of them down now so I might actually forego bringing the spruce and carry this birch back I might come back for the spruce but this birch would be much better as long as it's uh, relatively dry, but it's been hung up so it hasn't been sitting on the ground rotting, so that's good. Okay, well I just, I just finished setting up my food line. I uh, didn't film it, I made a video detailed video showing how to hang your food while in bear camp bear county bear country okay well i just finished hanging my food line and uh that's ready to go when i am done eating um i didn't film it because i recently just did a video on how to hang your food while in bear country can't say it all right well i just finished hanging my food line I didn't film it because I just made a video uh, how to hang your food while in bear country. Um, so I'll just link to that. It's uh, using the pulley system. It's the best way to do it. And if you're not familiar with it, you should learn. Um, because yeah, without question, it's the best way. It's what's recommended by like rangers and wardens across North America. Anywhere there's bears, they say do it this way. So um, yeah, so I have a video all about that and i'll link to that and yeah check it out it's on my not channel it's not on my main channel um so yeah i'm ready i'll tidy up the fireplace a little bit um or fire pit uh it's just i'm gonna use one of the grills that's left here you always have a grill in algonquin don't bring a grill when you go to algonquin park don't bring a grill Okay, don't bring a grill. There are always grills in Algonquin. And if there isn't one at your campsite, paddle over to another one. Ask somebody if they have a grill. I'm sure there will be a few. So, anyway, 
the way the pit set up now it's just too wide to put a grill on so i'm going to adjust it with the rocks so i can do that then when that's done i can relax and i'm going to go for a swim Finished dinner up, steak and potatoes. And I've got the last half hour, 45 minutes of sunlight. It was quite cloudy for a while, but it's cleared up again. Still some clouds out there. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd set up for a long shot, do a time lapse for the sunset. There's a couple loons out there as well. So I put the shotgun on it. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get some loon call. Yeah, this is kind of what it looks like.